Quick moving but impactful early winter storm is moving across the Rocky Mountain region today and will impact many areas of Wyoming through this afternoon and tonight and linger into part of the day on Tuesday. We still have some morning strong winds along sections of I-80 and 25 this Monday, certainly less than what we had over the weekend, but still going to cause some minor impacts through at least the early afternoon hours. Ongoing snow is occurring in the western areas of Wyoming, especially the mountains and valleys, and some of the higher elevations of I-80 close to the Utah line. This will be spreading eastward through this afternoon and tonight and through early Tuesday morning. It's going to leave a combination of slick roads and black ice, which will be the primary impacts, and much of it will occur during the night tonight and Tuesday morning, but we may have to watch out for some localized areas of blowing snow along our higher elevations and wind-prone areas during the over night tonight. Ongoing snowfall is occurring along Interstate 80 from the Utah line through Evanston to Lyman, causing some early slick road conditions. And we also have ongoing road impacts, which will be the case through today and much of tomorrow along Wyoming 28 near South Pass. Late this afternoon over most of the plains of central and southeastern Wyoming and possibly after about 1 o'clock in the high elevations, we're going to get scattered slick spots to develop from redeveloping snow showers this afternoon. Heaviest snows will occur this evening and the overnight and is going to be stretching from I-80 east of Rollins through Arlington Elk Mountain, may hit pockets of the Laramie Valley and eastward towards Cheyenne and the Nebraska line, also I-25 from the Colorado line through Wheatland, Douglas, and up to Casper, going to see the heaviest impacts in the evening and overnight and they will include slick and snow-packed roads and again could see some areas of reduced visibility from the snowfall itself and perhaps some localized areas of blowing snow. Along I-90 we are going to get some medium impacts but they are going to be quite concentrated and mostly on the foothills of the Bighorn Basin from the Montana line through Sheridan and Buffalo. Eastward towards Gillette and heading into Sundance in South Dakota lesser impacts expected mainly wet to scattered slick areas this afternoon and tonight and that will coincide with the rest of the state a mixture of low to medium impacts from snowfall, scattered slick areas, localized areas of black ice, and maybe some more concentrated slick areas along the higher elevations of central Wyoming. In the western mountains and valleys, going to have daytime blowing snow, reduced visibility from snowfall, which will taper off in the evening and overnight, leaving slick and snow-packed roads into Tuesday. Don't forget to call 511 or go to yoroad.info for the latest updates. And remember, where there's ice and snow, take it slow.